video of my nephew James doing a backflip is made possible by the Nikon One AW1. I talked about its slow motion functions briefly in the AW1 review video, but this video is solely about slow motion. So to select the slow motion settings, you'll have to go to shooting menu and select advanced movie. From there you can select slow motion. Once you've selected slow motion from the advanced movie, you have to go back into the movies menu and select your frame rate, which is kind of odd, but that's how you do it. Um, you can choose from 400 to 1200, and we'll talk later about why 1200 is kind of ridiculous, uh, but we'll get into that. Let's see a spinning drill bit at 400 frames per second. some boiling water at 240 frames per second shot with my iPhone. Just for comparison, um, it can also do 120 frames per second at 1080p, um, whereas the uh, 240 is 720p. This shot is the Nikon One AW1 at 400 frames per second. The quality is comparable to the iPhone, so somewhere around 720. Um, it's not super HD, so if you're wanting to blow this stuff up huge, uh, make beautiful desktop like wallpaper slow motion loops or something, it's not going to happen with AW1. Um, not unless you have a screen that's smaller than 10 inches. Um, it's just the, the pixels aren't there to really make it, you know, slow mo guys material or something like that. So here's another drill bit shot at 400 frames per second with some flickery light that can't be seen by the naked eye. Uh, so you have to be careful of what kind of light sources you're going to use uh, for filming slow motion. And here's 1200 frames per second and it, it just looks absolutely horrible. You can see pixels the size of footballs, uh, all different colors. Um, granted this is 3200 ISO, but it doesn't get much better at the lower ISOs, I can tell you that. Um, it's just not a good idea. If you bought this camera for that, uh, I'm sorry because it's it's not for 1200 frames per second. You can see what's going on, so if you're using the camera to determine you know, something that's happening at that rate, then yeah, you, you might be able to do that. But it's not something that you're going to want to look at and enjoy. And the other thing Nikon has done to make this possible is they've done a digital zoom. So they've increased your focal length. If you were at 80 before, you're at somewhere around 120 or maybe more. I'm not sure of the actual conversion, but they've, they've done it using as much of the sensor. So it's being blown up to the same size, but there's fewer pixels to occupy that space. And I kind of feel bad for making you watch that shot for so long, but it took a little bit of explaining. Uh, here's something a little nicer, and it also outlines one benefit of using the Nikon AW1 for slow motion is that you can submerge it in water, so you can get your uh, underwater uh, slow motion shots if you can somehow get enough light for that. I think my ISO was cranked up a little bit here, uh, but it still looks pretty good unless you're going to blow it up to you know the size of your TV, which you are probably watching it on right now. Um, in which case I apologize, but um, you know, it's decent unless you want to You know shell out for a phantom or, or something like that And I just want to thank James Reynolds for being a subject of this video and helping to show a little bit about slow motion and particularly regarding the AW1 what it can do what it can't do and um, He has his own YouTube channel. You can check it out the links in the description here and uh, he does a lot of tricks on trampolines and uh, other, other sorts of videos. Definitely entertaining. 
And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other photography related videos and uh, subscribe, like, and share. So this is the aftermath here, okay? all over the floor, and part of it's still there.